Whew, y'all, I had some time with the new Samsung Galaxy Note 10 and we gotta talk. Feel free to comment as needed as we have this discussion, but here we go. So I'm gonna break this video down into like my top five favorite features. And the first thing I wanna talk about is the design. So for the first time ever, we have two different sizes. We have the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus. So the difference here is pretty much the screen size as the Note 10 is gonna have a 6.3 inch display and the Note 10 Plus has a 6.8 inch display. Now for me personally, between these two options, I favor the Note 10 because I don't know, as of late, I've been leaning more towards like smaller devices. I don't know, they just seem to fit easier into my pocket, they're easier to use. And after, you know, holding both of these in my hand and using them briefly, I favor the size of the Note 10. But the nice thing here is that you get to choose so that if you are like me and you prefer a smaller device, you can use that but still take advantage of all the awesome productivity features in which the Note line offers. And that screen is still just as gorgeous as ever. I swear that Infinity Display just leaves me in a gaze because it's just like you have so much pure screen to enjoy. Whatever task that you want to complete, the colors are vibrant and punchy, and it now also has HDR10+. So that pretty much means for all of you that you're gonna have the best picture quality possible. And something else you'll notice with the design here is that things are a little bit more symmetrical. So like when you look at the display, even the camera is now smack in the center instead of off to the sides. And as for color options, they look great. You can choose from the follower with the blue one being offered exclusively for the Note 10 Plus at Best Buy and Samsung.com. Now out of these color options, my personal favorite is probably the white one or the blue one. I don't think I could go wrong with either. And you'll notice with the design as well, it has this really rounded rectangular vibe going on. Something else I really like about the design is the button placement. So along the left, you'll find your volume button along with a button beneath it that with a single press is gonna control your power, a double press will control your camera, and a long press will control Bixby, or you can change it within your settings to be your power menu. So this is a good thing because now you don't feel, so to speak, forced to use a feature that you don't want to because you have more control over what the button does. And something else with the design that you're gonna notice is a 3D supersonic fingerprint sensor built right into the screen, which pretty much means you can unlock your phone with sticky, oily, wet, or even dirty fingers. And then along the bottom, you have your USB-C charging port, speaker, and oh, that S Pen. So let's talk about the second feature that I really like, which is the S Pen. So this time around, Samsung has introduced something known as Air Actions, which is gonna allow you to control certain aspects of the device using gestures with the S Pen. So for example, when you're using the camera, you can now swipe between camera modes by pressing the button on the S Pen and swiping your hand in midair. Now quite honestly, I'm not too sure what else I would want to use air gestures for. I really thought about this one, y'all. Like, what would be cool to, you know, use my S Pen in midair to do? I have no idea, but I'm very open to the idea of exploring to find out. But I will say, one thing that I can see myself using that S Pen for is to work alongside of the built-in screen recorder because you can now annotate what is being recorded or you can use picture-in-picture -picture to add reactions to what is being displayed on the screen as you're recording. And another thing with the S Pen that I really like is how you can now export your handwriting to text, which is great when you want to convert that quick thought you wrote down into something more shareable or legible. Now the third thing that I really like is the camera. Like the cameras on the Note lineup or any Samsung device period honestly <laughs> never ceases to amaze me. They're always like top notch and I gotta say I'm so looking forward to doing a camera comparison. So along the back you have a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 12 megapixel wide angle, and a 12 megapixel telephoto camera. And then along the front your camera is 10 megapixel. And on top of that, we have new features we can enjoy, such as new video editing options. So now you can edit on the go and utilize that S Pen a bit more to select clips, add transitions, effects, background music, adjust the speed of your clips, and I'm sure plenty of other things which I will learn by exploring a bit more, but all of these things are gonna be built right into the app so you don't have to download anything extra. So we're used to being able to do photos with you know the little blurry background and portrait mode and such like that, but now you can do it for videos. You'll find that you have the option to adjust the intensity of the blur or add effects that'll grayscale your background 
or you can add a glitch effect to your background so that your subject stands out that much more. And there's this new feature called Zoom In Mic. I've never heard of it before on a phone, so I'm really interested to test it out. So what that'll do is increase the audio of whatever is in frame while lowering the background noise so you can focus that much more on the sound that you do want. And there's even night mode on the front camera so you can capture, you know, those beautiful candle lit selfies. <laughs> I'm playing about that, but you know you can capture better low light photos, not only with the back camera, but also with your front camera. Now the fourth thing that I really like is the way that it links to Windows. And with this, it's gonna wirelessly sync your messages and notifications and your pictures onto your Windows 10 desktop. So this will be built straight into the phone. It doesn't require any extra downloads because let's face it, not many of us wanna download anything extra or worry about the legitimacy of an application that we're gonna use to get that feature. So it's nice to now have it built straight into the phone so you can have this seamless integration amongst your devices. However, if you don't wanna utilize the wireless option, you can still utilize Dex, but a bit easier this go around because it's pretty much plug and play. So with that, I mean that you'll now be able to plug your phone into your computer and have you know a drag and drop desktop experience without the need of another median between the two on your Windows or your Mac computer. And the fifth thing that I want to talk about is that battery. We got to have something to power us through the day and this should definitely do that because the Note 10 has a 3500 milliamp battery and the Note 10 Plus has a 4300 milliamp battery and it also has super fast charging so that now within 30 minutes your Galaxy Note 10 can be charged up to last pretty much the entire day when you're using a 45 watt wired charger and although it's not included in the box we got to admit that is super fast but what you will get in the box is a 25 watt charger. So those are my top five features, but there's still things worth noting about the device, such as the processor that's pushing it, which is the Qualcomm 855 Snapdragon processor. There's also eight gigs of RAM on board with the S10 and 12 gigs of RAM on board with the S10 Plus, which for you is gonna mean that your device is gonna run super smooth and super fast. And although we have been spoiled with the micro SD card slot in the past, only the S10 Plus will have one. However, I don't feel it's anything to fret over because both devices are gonna come out of the box with 256 gigabytes of storage, which for me is enough. Like I wish other companies would take note and do that as well, especially when you look at the price tag for these because the Note 10 starts at 949 and the Note 10 Plus starts at 1099. And although that is not cheap, don't get me, and although that is not cheap, it's still a very good price point for what the devices offer. So it's really nice to know that you can get something at this price point that offers the latest technology while pushing on the cusp of innovation at a price point still cheaper than its competitors with devices that are similar or less spec than this one. All right. Now let's talk about price and when you can get one. So pre-orders start tomorrow, August 8th, and they will be on sale in stores and online August 23rd. And there's gonna also be a Note Plus 5G option that's gonna be offered exclusively with Verizon for a limited time on August 23rd. But a word of advice, if you pre-order the Note 10 Plus, you'll get a Samsung credit for $150. And if you pre-order the Note 10, you'll get a Samsung credit for $100. And there are gonna be other incentives as well for pre-orders where you can create your own Galaxy kit by choosing from select mobile accessory bundles. And to me, you're gonna want these things so that you can take advantage of cool accessories like this case here, which has an LED light show of various different things customized within your settings so that when you place the device face down, it lights up like so. Or my personal favorite, which I unfortunately <laughs> didn't capture on camera, which is the ability for the back of the case to actually light up and give you a countdown timer. So those scenarios when you're taking photos of people, they can actually watch the timer count down on the back of the phone, which is really cool. But yeah, I think that's gonna sum it up for this one. If I happen to think of something else, which is highly likely, I will drop it down in the description box or within the comments section because I do want to have a discussion with you all about this phone. I want to know your thoughts, but I will say with my first impressions of this, I am excited to like get some actual hands-on at-home time with it because it just looks like a phenomenal phone and it has a lot of features that I could see myself using and not gimmicks because gimmicks are just the cool things we want to show off but we may not utilize. But the features are the things that we actually care about because they're the things that we use day to day to make our life better better and easier. And I feel like the Note 10 has that. So yeah, I'm probably at Samsung Unpacked right now as you're watching this, so you can feel free to check out what I'm doing on Instagram at Tech Me Out, which is T-E-C-H-M-E. 
zero ut if you're interested in seeing a vlog of my time there let me know down below in this comment section don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this and as always thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out